Negative electricity prices. Any pluses in the new normal? With countries around the world striving to increase the penetration of renewables and electricity mix, both the frequency and duration where episodes of renewable generation exceed demand are increasing, resulting in more frequent and rising negative prices on the wholesale market. This situation is likely to only get worse until significantly more storage is added to store the excess energy for use at later times, or better ways are found for demand to respond to the fluctuations in prices. Both options are being pursued with increased vigour, but neither is likely to be sufficient in the near term because far more renewable energy capacity is expected online, well ahead of the required storage. A case in point is Germany where the proportion of renewable generation rose to 35% in the first half of 2017, up from 30% the previous year, according to the German Renewable Energy Association. And that will not be the end of it, as the government has pledged to move to a decarbonised economy by the mid-century, with an 80% renewable target in place for 2050. Germany, of course, is not alone in moving towards a decarbonised future, but it's amongst the biggest experience frequent and significant negative prices in recent years. On some days, Germany now gets up to 85% of electricity from renewable sources. Similar episodes are being encountered more frequently in Denmark, Ireland, Spain, Portugal and other places around the world with rising renewable generation. For example, both California and Texas in the United States now encounter negative prices on their networks with regularity due to the rise of solar and wind in both cases. German energy consumers were paid to use power over the Christmas period, thanks to a slump in demand, warm weather and plenty of wind power on the grid, the Independent reported last December. Prices slipped into negative territory on December 24th and again on the 7th 26th, according to the website of the EPEX Spot, which is Europe's biggest power trading exchange. As the paper reported, the holiday period results in severe imbalance between demand, which is low as factories and offices shut down, and a surge in wind generation. In short, the perfect storm. According to the New York Times, on Christmas Eve, industrial and big commercial consumers were offered in excess of 50 euros per megawatt, or 60 US dollars per megawatt, to use the excess energy. There were few takers. Developing robust price responses and demand options will not be easy, nor will it be simple to store the large amounts of excess energy with today's limited storage capabilities. In short, the problem of negative prices is likely to get much worse before it gets any better.